Hey guys, welcome back to another week and another video. It is JD here. All right, so it is the last week of October and this is the last time I'm gonna ask you that, you guys this. All right, so who's got it? Let's see if you can remember. Who's got it? That is our question, okay? So do you remember who's got it? Yes, God's got it. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad that you guys are here and watching this and just going along with me. All right, so today we're gonna do something really fun. Oh, I almost forgot. Ollie's here with me just because he decided to come in. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him right there. There he is. There you go, you got it, Ollie. <laughs> okay. So today um, we're going to play a cool animal game and so I am going to make some animal sounds and you have to tell me what animal makes that sound and so let's practice real quick. I'm going to do an animal sound. Hmm. Let me think. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Who do you, what animal makes that noise? An owl, exactly. Just like Ollie, Ollie makes that noise, right? Cause he's an owl. He goes, hoo, hoo. All right, so let's try it, here we go. So here's another sound. Meow, meow. Can you make that sound? Meow. What animal makes that sound? That's right, a cat. A cat makes that sound. Okay, let's try another one. Um, here's a hint. What animal makes that sound? That's great, a snake. A snake makes that sound. He goes, awesome job, guys. Okay, let's do another one. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oink, 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 oink. Wait, but who makes that sound? What animal makes that sound? Good job, a pig. A pig makes that sound. All right, let's do one more animal. Hmm, let me think. I have it. Ready? Listen up. Moo. Moo. Can you make that noise with me? Moo. <laughs> That's such a fun sound. <laughs> but let's think. What animal makes that sound? Let's try it again. Moo. Moo. What animal makes that sound? That is right, a cow. A cow goes moo. He goes around and he eats the grass and he just makes that noise. Guys, you did such an awesome job. And there's so many other animals out there that God created. And those are the kind of animals that was on Noah's Ark. We've been talking about Noah for the past month, right? And he talks about how his animals, or the animals, came two by two onto Noah's Ark. But we'll hear more about that in our Bible story today. But that's all for our, for our activity today. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time. All the time, you are with me, always with me, because wherever I go, I know, wherever I go, wherever I go, I know, God is with me, wherever I go, I know, wherever I go.
time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of Foil. I want to see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you want to help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Hola friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> it just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, <laughs> great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with... a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One, two. Oh, there's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. Let's try it again. One. Two, three. There, that's a bigger boat. Oh, wait, that's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. Oh, now that's a big, big boat. Ooh, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. <laughs> you built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? 
Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? <laughs> yes, penguins. I love penguins. <laughs> Oh, and there are all kinds of other animals, too. Ooh, here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals. Then Noah and his family got on the boat, and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, well, it rained and it rained and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. It was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then, God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us, and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God told Noah just what to do. And he kept his promise to him, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, what an awesome story. God was with Noah the whole time, and God always keeps his promises. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, it stopped raining outside after all of this time. I hope I can see a rainbow. I'm gonna go look right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9.